Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. I wanted to explain a little bit more about downburst and microburst because we had a ton of them yesterday and a lot of folks are really fascinated and somewhat uh, confused by why it wasn't just a tornado, it was a downburst. Well, you got to remember a downburst is a basically a big tall thunderstorm that's 30, 40, 50,000 feet tall. And I use my blower to kind of simulate that it pushes wind down to the ground like this. <laughs> And you could see how all the leaves and debris spread it out in all directions. Well, instead of just being leaves in real life, these were trees, houses, stuff in your backyard. But yesterday was also unique. Not only did we have the wind, but on top of that, we had what's called a wet microburst. So we had the wind coming down, but at the same time, we had a big splash of water that came down. So when you combine both the wind and the water coming and crashing down at the same time, it's a wet microburst that hits the ground, spreads out in all directions, and the wind speeds can be just as high as an EF1 tornado. We're talking 60 to 125 miles per hour. And these cause 90% of the wind damage we see in the Carolinas. So I know it seemed like a tornado, but the reason it's called a burst is because it comes at you in a burst. It hits just as quickly as a tornado, but it's technically straight line winds. And remember, wind is wind. Wind is going to destroy things regardless of what it's causing.